All right, so we're here with Laurie Daniels Favors, hey Afro State of Mind, and we're talking about epigenetics. <laughs> epigenetics. I love the word because I can actually pronounce it. Right. Um, I think that's so powerful. But, you know, like I think people's eyes glaze over when we talk about epigenetics mm -hmm. because you can't imagine that something that you do or think or feel has something to do with three, four hundred years right. ago. Right. That something that is how you react right. when you see police right. is in your DNA. That's it is exactly not, right. is it, you know, and, and then how do you fix that? Right. Because you're not talking about what your mama did to you. Right. It's what happened to her mom and her mom's mom, and her mom's 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 mom, and, and so on and so forth. And so for those of you who may not have heard on air, I don't know how much time we have, but for those of you not who may much. not have heard on air, <laughs> there are studies in Dr. Joy DeGruy's book, Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome, and her work deals a lot with this. Um, there was a study done that looked at mice, and mice, which are not naturally fearful of a various scents, like maybe the smell of a flower, of a rose, um, they were put in these experiments where the mice were allowed to smell the smell, and then they were zapped with something that caused them pain. They would smell the smell, zap with pain, smell, zap, smell, zap, so much so that the mice began to get a natural fear for the smell of this flower. The scientists then studied the children born from these mice and realized that though the baby mice had never participated in the experiment, they were born with an inbred uh, uh, skill set that caused them to be afraid of this smell. So the children who had never been had never experienced that trauma were born with a genetic predisposition to be afraid of the thing that caused their parents pain. We got to think about that as African descendant people when we consider the fact that not only were we experiencing 400 years of oppression in this country, 500 years if you're looking at what happened in Latin America and, and Spanish speaking America and Caribbean America. Um, but then we also got to think about that the trauma never ended. We are still today having to watch documentaries or newsreels of people getting killed on air for being black, walking while being black, breathing while being black. The trauma. Be being, at being at McDonald's while being black. Being at McDonald's while being black. Working. Like right, literally working. at your job right. doing what you're supposed to do while being black. And so how we heal that is a great question. And I, I know there's a lot more that needs to be said on that. But I think we need to understand the nature of the issue and then begin being intentional about creating other types of stimuli to bring out other types of healing. All right. Stay tuned. Karen Hunter Show. I'm ending it. <laughs>